This is unbelievable. And it, it uh, larger point. So, Steve Kerr. All right. Great four, coach. Yeah, four one titles. Of great, one of the greatest coaches of all time. There's absolutely uh, no doubt about it. Uh, when the Warriors won 73 games, okay, Luke Walton coached the first 43 games. Gotcha. They were 39 and 4. Luke Walton led him to a 34. I um, remember. 39 and 4 season. And that's the year that uh, obviously they lost game six or game seven to the to the Cavaliers. But Luke Walton had that team 39 and 4. Uh, Luke Walton ends up becoming a head coach in Sacramento and LA, right? And not not great situations, but come on, not a great coach. I mean, come on. I mean, the numbers say not a great coach. All right. So, could anybody coach the Warriors? No. Well, Luke Walton had him at thirty nine and four that year. I mean, but that was the basketball version of a one night stand. You, you know what I mean? It's like the substitute teacher we talked about. And this is no shady. Luke, you did a great job. But, Steiny, I feel like when you have the task of controlling Draymond Green on and off the court, where, I mean, 24-7, like Steve Kerr has done, I, you know, that short sample size, which is a lot of NBA games, I'm just I'm like, I don't know if you could say that qualifies for what Kerr's had to put up with. Blow-ups, resentment, anger. Right, but who's to say he couldn't have done it? Oh, okay, all right. I mean, the half a season he coached the Warriors, they were, I mean, that you could make a case that stretch of basketball was as good as they've ever played. No, that's a fact. Mm -hmm. How about this? You ready? This is unbelievable. So, the first 43 games of the season... Draymond Green. You know what he shot from three-point range under Luke Walton? Because I'm like, where is he going? Uh, In 43 games under Luke Walton. I'm going to say 36%. Draymond Green shot 41.4% through 43 games That's incredible. of that season. Okay. He finished the season at 38-8. Which is his career after, high. After... Going thirty, go, dropping to thirty four point one percent when Steve Kerr oh, came back. Okay. If you remember, that was also the year. Go ahead. Where Draymond got into it with Kerr at halftime of the OKC game. The authorities had to be called, and at one point said, "I'm not an effing robot." I remember all this. So I just think it's listen. I'm not. I just think it's fascinating that. Draymond loved Luke Walton. And and Draymond might have played his best basketball under Luke Walton. It's just kind of interesting to me. I don't have a, you know. Well, I'm going to say this. I'll tell you what it does. It gives me a little more appreciation for, you know what? When Luke Walton goes to L.A. or Sacramento, no, nobody's going to turn that crap around. And I hate the spots you just named. What? L.A. and Sacramento didn't work out. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he's a great coach. But... Look at what he did with the Warriors. Well, I can say that with we can say that with us, me and the people. We can say that with Steve Kerr, though, Stoney. And I can say Draymond shot that was his career high from three. I watched the uh, 2016 Western Conference Finals a few games not too long ago, and his body was different. He physically was a different person. I always the streets told me part of why they got into it was he was shooting too many threes, and Kerr had said something. Well, he's so shooting 41%. Yeah, so I don't know if I get where you're going with uh, he was feeling empowered by Luke Walton, like be the, right. be the best you can. Right. But has, have the Warriors, I guess my bigger takeaway is in this, because you got to tell me where you're ultimately going, they've won four and eight. So ain't no meat on the bone outside, okay, Dre shooting 30%, 28% from three. Mm -hmm. But other than that, the team is... Still kind of getting it okay. done. So, does Luke Walton never win a title with this team? Like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just wondering, you know, this is what I think of. How much was Steve Kerr? How much was the greatness of the team? You know, and mm. I just, 
just remembered that Luke Walton coached half a year that year, and there was barely a discernible difference. So I don't think Luke Walton's the greatest coach in the world. So if I don't think if the greatest co- if a guy who I don't think is the greatest coach in the world had the Warriors forty three and four, what is I'm, then I asked the question to myself. I wonder if that's the coach of the team. Right. Okay. That's what we're talking about right. here. Well, okay. Could, could anybody yeah. have sat on the end of that that seventy three win bench or at the start the front of that seventy three win bench? You or me sat there, and guess what? I, we're winning yeah. sixty five okay. games, and we're going. We, uh, I can give you ten names, or and this is no shade. Is Kerr. Steve Kerr a big reason? Or it's, you know, yeah. or is is does another coach not get 73 wins and a and a trip to the finals? All right, this is where I'm going. Then I love this. I could prob I could give you five other coaches' names that I feel like could have won those two titles with Durant on the Warriors at that juncture. Well, then no, no, no. I want to talk specifically about the 73 win oh, team. Oh, there's no doubt. And, no, and then Kerr kind of that. subsequent Steve to that. Kerr did that, and he did it Ricky Henderson style when his first inception of him coaching his team, when he changed the offense, he knew all the just everything about the all. He was it. He had to teach it. The coaches were involved. So to me, Steiny, that was his baby, and it's why he's on that top 75 list, I believe, for the coaches, and no, 15 coaches, and why I believe he's the best coach currently in the league. Do I agree with everything he does? No. But, Stani, that first year off the bat and that 73-win season that propelled him, to me, that's your answer. And I feel like he's the only. Just asking. What made you think of it? Um, like the thought. Oh, duh. Start, duh. I bet you didn't know this. This is why I thought of it. Okay, I tell. Because Luke Walton's on the Cleveland okay, staff. So we'll see him. Well, you'll see him. I should have said that first. See, I told you. Yeah. Like, you know what I did there? Kind of buried the lead of why I brought it up in the first place. Well, that's why I brought it up. Luke Walton's yeah, in I town. Got you. Now, Can I, we celebrate Luke Walton's <laughs> part in this dynasty? See, goo, that's what I'm talking about. Something's Seven. amiss today. I buried the lead. I never, like. That still was compelling, though. Well, that, no, 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 no. That yeah. should have been. The beginning. Because I can tell people are like, why is he talking about? Well, I was. What does this have to do? And then I, but now you got me. I blew it. 